Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by, well, several of my subscribers, including one William Stryker. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. At any rate, this is CCTV uh, footage of when Fourth Public Safety got arrested. Now, he did uh, release the grainy footage on his own channel a while back, but you know what? It's better that we take a look at this footage and see where he was lying to us at. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. According to this, it's saying that I bonded out the day of the arrest. That did not happen. I'm still learning how to... And this is a case history. So what that is. It's a case history on this case. Right. So it's like a summary. This paper is a summary. Right. This is what you would see if you pulled up the record online. If you so, could, like right. you're supposed to be able to. If there's one thing I really hate about watching a for public safety video, it is the freaking length because quite often he just stands there and talks about nothing for minutes and minutes on end as if he's the authority on everything. So I'm just going to go and skip to the next part which is probably the best part of the video you know where he gets a hold away in handcuffs pretty much so let's roll that beautiful bean footage a little longer than a few minutes later don't believe it don't believe it he's been great what's wrong with you who is that what's her name that woman just told her to stop helping me wait for our car to get here. yeah but why did you tell her that she needs to walk away no she does not need to walk away who, who are you who are, are you are you a yes, boss it is my business what who are you oh uh, salary it Karen. is my business who are you i mean seriously who are you identify ma'am she must want to be a becky or a karen guys you want to name her becky or karen why would that why would that woman can i get a copy of those please i'll pay for it for those of you who have never heard of this guy for public safety uh one of his claims to fame is the fact that he got himself locked in an elevator that had a key card access to it he tried to go to the next floor and it required a key card and he thought he was trapped inside the elevator. And the uh, person on the other end of the line that he contacted said all he had to do was just press the button number one on the elevator to let himself go. And he cr cried about them violating his rights or some something like that. I mean, you know, the stupid stuff. Yeah, and don't let him get out of everybody's sight. I want to be able to watch. After that. Sorry, I, did, I was trying to stay out and then I realized. Don't trust your government. That this, uh, this no. is why you record everything. Keep an eye on She's right. going to the copy machine. Make sure nothing happens. Nothing happens. All right. All right. Definitely a care. They're trying to falsify evidence against me in another case. Well, All right. right. Everybody says she's a Karen, so we're going to go with Karen. Well, I don't want to make this a mockery, guys. Like this is this needs to be as what? utmost professional as possible, and that's what that woman if we don't just have destroyed. A name to call Will you about? please tell me who that woman was, ma'am? I'm not going to give any names. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, but you do identify to the public when they ask, right? In this office, you're supposed as a to. Any employee government employee, employee, employee is supposed sorry. to share. Are you really? I don't have my badge with me. No. No. And he sounds like a typical conspiracy theorist at that. Oh, they're trying to trump up charges on me. They're trying to bring me down. No, I don't think they really care about what you are. Oh, yeah, and as far as everything being a mockery, yeah, everywhere you go, you turn everything into a mockery of what it's supposed to be because you cause so much damn chaos. Uh, you're so damn ignorant of how everything works. You say you're a self-employed contractor, but... Given how stupid you are a lot of the times, I seriously doubt that's the case as well. I mean, yeah, locking yourself in an elevator, yeah, not exactly a smart thing to do to begin with. Do you all identify who you are when you're when you're talking to the public? That's a no. Oh, that's a no for that one. Oh. Yeah, let me have that spot. 
lot better. All right. And people wonder why we would do the recordings. <laughs> She was great. She was being great. Like, and I mean, she didn't have any answers for me. I didn't have high expectations. Right. I wasn't expecting nothing out of the line. She was doing great. And then that woman walks up and says, you need to walk away from him. Don't help him anymore. Oh, look, we got company. Hey, I'm sorry. Good, how are you? Excuse me. Doing very well, thank you. You got your way there. How y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? I've uh, been better. I've been treated better, too. What can we help you with? Uh, well, it was at the clerk's office that needs to help me with this stuff. Um, I think they're the ones that called you because some woman just came up and told my clerk to not help me anymore. I can't really imagine being as uh, ignorant and stupid as Chris right here because, you know, uh, he all he does is complain, 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 and uh, act like he's the big shot in the area when he's really nothing but small potatoes anyway. I mean, why would the government want anything to do with him to begin with? He's putting himself on this pedestal as if he is some sort of god or something like that. But no, no, like I said, small potatoes. Government probably really doesn't care about him to begin with. With my record, the business I'm here for. That's what just happened. So I told her I want to know who she is. We would like to know and who she is so we can follow up on the complaint. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the reason, probably the reason why they don't want to help you is because y'all got cameras all over everybody. Well, that's something. Hey, look, man, there's one right there. See and it? we record all of our business because and actually, we have to keep public? everyone accountable. And that's how we do that is by okay. recording everything. Okay. okay. So, so, sir, I got court. Right, thank you. What's, uh, what are y'all doing with him? Excuse me. They're making copies of our documents. There's no order from a judge saying I can't record. We're allowed to record our so business that we're conducting. I'm Chief Deputy Whitehead. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. But if you start making them feel uncomfortable and stuff, I can tell you to leave. Well, I hold can, on, sir. I and wait a minute before you leave, I'll arrest you for disorderly okay. conduct. You already threatened me with the rest? Oh, no. Well, gee, they're in a courthouse, and in a lot of courthouses, you're not exactly allowed to film anybody or anything for a very good reason, for because of confidential information, attorney-client privilege, jurors might be walking around. And this is something that they don't exactly think about. But, you know, like I said, for public safety, he's a total moron anyway. I'm not threatening you, trust me. Well, why did you just say that? Let, let, me, let me go. Get, what is that? You get Promise? your copies? And then no, I have, no, I need more than copies. I'm waiting on Ellen. Let them tell you the mm -hmm. truth. Get your copies and y'all can go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, y'all are. Oh, no, I won't. One way or another. We're, I won't. We're not going to leave until, until we're done conducting our business, sir. Get your copies you wherever you, you want. I'm Chief Deputy Waddy with the Sheriff's Office. Deputy. And, and you don't yes. know to, to treat the public better than this? Know. What are you doing this for? This is my record. I got court tomorrow. You get your copies. You won't. I will. You get your copies. I don't just need copies. If you knew what was going You're on. You're not going to keep these ladies up here. I'm not keeping them up there doing nothing except for their job. You, a camera you should. Know, you I know, can't know, know their job. Yes. This you is what I said for. From Frankfurt. What is the job of the circuit court clerk? To go over these records with me. Oh, what is it? To explain them. To explain them to she you? She handles the records. She handles documents. She makes copies. She look does violence. Take the open records access for him. Show me that. Or just tell him the statute. You look it up. Show me that. You look it up. No. You show me the statute to open records. I didn't show me. Tell him the number. Show me. You know her job. Open records. Oh, you're not going to go anywhere. Well, you do realize you could be trespassed from any building, right? Even the courthouse? Well, you're about to find out the hard way. Which you should already know by now because, uh, well, how many times have you been trespassed? I mean, I've, I've lost count. I do believe it's KRS. I know this is the clerk's office something. and these are clerk's records. And and this has questionable so what is let me her talk. Job? This has questionable stuff. What is her job? To you tell me what this is about. Question. You all want answers from everybody else, but you don't want to give answers. What are you talking what about? How is it our job clerk? to tell what you, you what you their said, job is? You said. Did you come you on here to escalate the situation? Oh, I'm not escalating. Not the hell you are. You, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go and get this test. Let's you, get on out of here. You need to go right. away. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go oh. to jail then. For this you one. what? This <laughs> <one's gonna die. laughs> and so it begins. Get your hands off of him.
that's my record. Get your hands off of him. Why are you shaking so bad? Well, your back. Back Don't you touch me. No, we'll if you touch way. me, you're going to be in a pickle. Do not touch me. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. I wouldn't laugh. Don't touch that, me. Hey, that. You just messed you up. Go you you want to go to go? I, I would not do that if I were you. What are you, you do? Don't fucking oh. get it. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get taped? Hey, you want to get taped? Hey, hey, get off of her. Get yeah. off her. You're not a very smart man, are you, Chrissy boy? Uh, you are in handcuffs. You are under arrest. Your girlfriend is under arrest, and you are assaulting the officer at this point. On a scale of 1 to 10 in this scenario, uh, 1 being smart and 10 being extremely dumb, I would say you're at an 11 right now. There was nothing to arrest us for. Disorderly conduct. Let's go. There is no disorderly conduct except for you. You know his body cam's gonna show it. You suck. I'm good. What's wrong with you, man? Ain't nothing wrong with me. The hell, there ain't nothing wrong with you. You're fucking out of control. You think? I just needed records for court. For court. Well, you ever go to court? Tomorrow. You will be in court. Tomorrow's arraignment day, so you can tell the judge tomorrow. Oh, I guarantee it. Oh, sorry, that's true. Right. We weren't being disorderly. You were. Okay. You this were being disorderly. Okay. You need to fix this car. And the way you were handling her for what? What did she do to you? Huh? What was she doing to you for you to use excessive force like that? Because I told him to not touch me. And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, the combination of him being, well, quite rude to the officials to begin with, and him, well, filming in a courthouse were contributing factors in the fact that this went down the way it did. It wasn't the uh, chief deputy. It was his own damn attitude that got him this. So, congratulations, Chris. You are a freaking moron. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?